So here's something I've noticed in the uh, to mow before the chickens or to not mow before the chickens conversation. When the grass gets longer, like I have really good grass in this section of my field, but when the grass gets longer and you roll the chicken tractor over it, it bends the grass over and as the birds follow behind it, it becomes a mat. And there's less sticking up in their faces and more just at their feet. And they're less likely to eat the stuff at their feet than they are to uh, eat the grass that's sticking up in front of their face. You can sit and watch them after you move them. When the grass is shorter and it's up in their face, they'll bite the ends off of it. And if they like it, they'll keep going after it. Um, but if it's longer, it folds over like a mat. And when it folds over like a mat, the manure sits on top of it more than going in between it uh, in the beginning and getting down to the dirt and feeding the dirt. It's just becoming this like pack mat on top of the grass. So I'll probably uh, in my future see some some trimming, some mowing uh, before these birds just so that they have that, that grass as it gr comes back or as that new mown height uh, they'll be more likely to eat it and forage and eat less grain which is great because then it saves me money. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what I got to say. I learned to make this observation from Joel Salatin's Pasture Poultry Profits. Uh, it's a book, it was a book published in the 90s. Most of you guys know it if you're watching my channel. Um, but a lot of that stuff is all still good. It's still relevant. Relevant. Uh, the farming technology, this is a more simple technology. So the book written back in the day, still super relevant today. I'll go back uh, from time to time if I'm like hazy on a topic, I'll go to Pasture Poultry Profits uh, and reread that chapter. I have that book in the resources section of the website and the store as a recommended reading. Uh, it's a good companion with the Chicken Tractor book. They're sold together on Amazon pretty often. That's kind of like the most cool thing ever. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy your day. Uh, any comments on how you manage your grass in front of your chickens, whether you're a large scale operation or small scale operation, I want to hear about it in the comment section below. Thanks for taking the time to stop in. Until next time, I will see you on the field.